Hello MK Beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Melanie, the creator and owner of Majestic Knowing Beauty. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are prepping and packing for vacation. So let's go ahead and get started with hair. I am getting tribal braids. Tribal braids have been my go-to um, for the last two braid sessions. I've had them previously, but what I like most about the tribal braids are the fact that um, they go back and the front is a feed in, so I don't necessarily have hair or braids hanging down in my face. You know, they're not like the night, knotless braids or your traditional braids, but it's just a few rolls, um, single like knotless style braids in the back um, with a few rolls back there and um, feed ins in the front but you'll see that as the video continues but what I love about this braider is she is a, a travel braider so I'm able to kind of catch up on some of the girlies on YouTube as well as work some MK Beauty stuff that I had going on for their day as well um, the braid session it did take a little longer than I anticipated but nonetheless, it was worth it. Um, the end result was great. I do apologize. I do not have a full uh, review of what the braids look like at the end because I was rushing. But in my next video, which will be um, coming soon, that video you'll be able to see um, what the final look of the braids look like. But again overall i did like this style and i like the combination of color that the braider used because it does kind of tie into um, my natural hair color and this right here what we're looking at is the uh, feed ins in the front where all of the braids are basically going to the back i was trying to give y'all a full, full view but unfortunately I just could not do it so here we have it just doing some of the final touches and then we'll go into finalizing and sealing the style with some mousse and oil along with some spray and then um, dipping the hair in the hot water and at this point I was happy that we were done I was ready to go on to the next thing that I had on my to-do list, um, but I was also just loving this particular style because I knew it was going to give me everything that I needed for my vacation. I did not have to worry about hair. I would not have to worry uh, much about anything, just really giving myself a little top bun as need be um, whenever I want it while on vacation. Again, I'm trying to give y'all a full look, zooming in, and it's just not working. But I think you get the gist of <laughs> what the style looks like at this point. Dipping in hot water. Finally, at the end, sealing it with the hot water is the end. Now let's go ahead and dash to nail time. Um, my nail appointment, I forgot what time it was, but nonetheless, while I was getting my nails done, I was watching It's Nas on YouTube, getting me a classic French manicure on the toes, as well as the nails. Once I was done there, I had to zip on down to my sugaring time. Me personally, I prefer uh, Brazilian sugaring versus waxing. I have had waxing before, but in my personal opinion, sugaring is less, at, um, it's less abrasive, abrasive if you will. Um, but I like the results, they last much longer. And yeah, this is me prepping, getting ready for my sugaring. Oh, it had been long overdue, child. So I knew the pain was gonna be real. Speaking of real, the struggle is real. Packing, struggling is real. Because I'm not new to packing, I had my strategy, what I thought was my strategy, because I like to use packing cubes. But nonetheless, here I am back at home prepping for packing. I am um, wiping down a bag 
that I was going to use as a beach bag and I needed to wipe off the dust. I have not carried that bag in years. So me being clever Melanie, I am packing bags inside of bags, trying to um, make room in the suitcase, condense, you know, make things work as best as I thought that I could. Um, so I am stuffing shoes and everything possible inside of these bags to make it work, but it just was not working at all. I became overwhelmed. As you can tell, I had to take a deep sigh and realize, okay, this is not going to work. Now, because I'm not new to packing, um, I tend to overpack, I'll admit, but in my mind, this is what I thought would take place. Easy peasy packing, folding up my items have everything that I need all in one suitcase. That was the initial plan. But nonetheless, the show must go on. I decided to move on to packing all of my USB chargers, um, cords, everything that I needed in my handy dandy um, little accessory bag, utilizing my backpack. Anytime I am catching a flight, honey, I have this backpack on. This is definitely a travel backpack. Then I decide, you know, let me go ahead and take out everything that I need from my wallet and make sure I have a passport, everything that I need, handy dandy, ready for easy access in my book bag. Realizing I only had $4 in cash, I decided, y'all leave that right here. So again, back to just kind of stuffing my backpack, getting everything situated in this bag that's needed. Um, here I am stuffing my toiletry bag. I apologize for the view, but this is exactly what I'm doing at this particular time. Still struggling, realizing I do not have um, enough room. So I had to get a larger suitcase. As you can see there, I have my packing cubes. I just stuffed my clean skin towels inside of my toiletry bag. If you have not used clean skin towels, you should. I'll put my code on the screen so that you can get 20% off of your purchase. Definitely needed for uh, makeup removal and just cleaning the skin. Still realizing, um, yeah, I have to make things work. So I'm still adding things to my um, equipment accessory bag that I absolutely love. Uh, making sure I have my chargers and doing basically a last little walkthrough, making sure I have everything there so I can finalize my backpack. Y'all, when I tell you the struggle was real, the struggle was real had to have my SD card. I had all types of plans and going through my mind of what I can do, what needed to be done, how I can make this packing work. But the end result looked like this. Yep, I had to sit on the suitcase. I had to try to make it work. It was definitely a stretch, but nonetheless, the final emotions ended in, ah, <laughs> how can I make this work? But nonetheless, thank you for sticking around to see my struggle. And you know, I cannot leave without reminding you of Psalms 139. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are his works. I'll see you next time, MK Beauties. Bye.